Yo, what's going on, y'all? Um, this is Smitty. Um, this is just showcasing the real-time physics engine um, that's in uh, NHL 11. This showcases some some physics for real here, and it makes an amazing play. And I'm just gonna play this clip here real fast here. So just check this out. That one animation right there looked absolutely incredible. So, if that's how the gameplay is going to come out and represent, this game is going to be awesome. Now, seeing how this is done, is that like how are the physics going to be represented come the uh, you know when it comes to the NBA Elite? That's why I have the concerns that I have because they have not shown the phys they have not shown any physics yet for that game. All they've shown is dribbling motions and and sh and uh shooting and, and their and their shooting mechanics that they've changed. That's really it. And and don't get me wrong, those controls are awesome. They're sweet. I I, I absolutely like that change. That's cool, but when you implement the physics, how's it gonna play out? You know what I'm saying? Like so when so when you're playing again, the like there there are some things about it, like in terms of those animations, I'm like that that they should have highlighted. Like in first of all, when they take the when they take the Euro step or Pro Hop or whatever whenever they drive to the lane, those moves should never happen the exact same way, even if they're in the practice mode by themselves. Because nobody does a pro hop the exact same way every single time if you go to the gym, whether you're practicing or not. That's what I mean. When, there's, when you're going to showcase physics in basketball or any sport, and you're, gonna try, and you're trying to capture it in real time so everything is constantly fluid, you have to capture the full essence. And the thing is to not even show in progression. I fully understand that the game's work in progress. But the thing is, so is NHL 11, but look at that. You see that gameplay right there, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I need to see the progression. You know, Dave Littman is a hockey guy. That's why I fully am on board with the hockey, with the NHL 11. That game looks incredible. But how is the live going to look? You see what I'm saying? I mean, not live, excuse me. How is the NBA Elite going to look when it comes to that coming out? You know, so that's the concern. That's the part where where I am concerned in regards to that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to play this last this this last video right here regarding this here. Sean Ramjack Singh, live producer of NHL 11, and I'm really excited to talk to you about our all-new physics-based face-off system, which allows you total control like never before. Puck possession is an important part of hockey, and it all starts with the face-off. Utilizing our real-time physics engine in combination with total user control allows physical battles and realistic puck action during face-offs. This year, you can switch your grip from forehand to backhand. Setting your grip before your opponent does will increase the effectiveness of your face-off tactic. You have total control over your player's body with the ability to drive forward and tie up your opponent. Once tied up, you can win the draw back with your feet, spin around and play the puck with your stick, or wait for your wingers to come in and provide support. One of the keys to being an effective center is to catch the opposition off guard. You've incorporated this into NHL 11 by allowing you greater freedom in the face-off circle. You're now able to put the puck anywhere you like off the draw. This means you can flip the puck down the ice on a penalty kill, or catch the goalie sleeping in the offensive zone with a snapshot off the draw. And of course, you can still win it straight back. You can also slash your opponent's stick away and draw the puck back, or simply win it clean. 
With the new strategies and total user control, there's additional depth and realism to face off in NHL 11. Any moment can be a wow moment in NHL 11. EA Sports, it's in the game. See, and that's why looking at the progression of this game, that's why it truly is safe to say, at least for myself, that I definitely will be copping that game. I definitely will be copping NHL 11. The game, that looks crazy. And the thing is, they have progressively shown you how that game is going to look in terms of the real-time physics being represented. They've shown it progressively. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, so so that's that's what I'm saying when in terms of the NBA elite, they have not shown any of the physical detection yet. So I like I mean I know they're gonna show something soon, but my concern is okay, how does it look? The people at NHL they're showing you how it looks and with Dave Littman once again being a hockey man of course, he knows what to do. He's been doing it with all these other NHL titles on Next Gen, but what about what about now? You know, what about these other titles? You know, what about live? I mean, excuse me, Elite, the NBA Elite, because he's heading up that project. Like I said, I clearly understand that the game's work in progress, but these are all concerns because I expect the best. If I'm going to pay my hard-earned money for a game, I'm just not going to throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? I need to see the quality gameplay. So that's why I'm saying NHL 11 is a must-cop, no doubt. But in terms of NBA Elite, I have to see. You know what I'm saying? The demo will be out uh, sometime during September. Uh, I think September 28th, I think they said. Or whatever but it'll be out in September and I'll be checking that demo out just to see how the game actually does play hopefully it plays smoothly you know what I'm saying but we'll, we'll see we'll just have to wait and see so uh, on that note this is your boy Smitty uh, just had to point this out and I'm signing out I'll holla at y'all later peace <laughs>